I have cut, just stopped this this little gallery um, on the side of the road. I didn't really want to drive in there. I missed the the first entrance and I usually don't stop at places like that. It doesn't really interest me. And um, I have got this belief, true or not, that all those places um, kind of like papped up a bit and there's lots of Aboriginal art for sale and and um, and they are sold for little money, a lot of money. And I am not really a fan of Aboriginal art. It's never been something which um, I particularly wanted to own in my life. And I don't know why I made the last minute decision to actually do stop and drive in there. It might have been those big people, um, probably these huge two sculptures of uh, indigenous people they are about I don't know uh, probably seven meters high they are from steel and concrete and they look like made from brass uh, th which they are not I mean that would be so much money and um, and then I walked in there and this guy looked at me who works there and says that he's a writer and he's just been writing and his character is in the 30s and he was just writing and riff about how this character wears this particular hat and the style what he likes in the music scene of this time and I pull up in my hat mobile so he found that very intriguing and I was thinking, as I was before I pulled up, I, how I've always been writing since I'm a child, and diaries, and as we many of us do, and how I would like to write, and that I could write a book, um, crossing Australia in the hatmobile, and. And then we sort of got together with both of us having those particular thoughts. Anyway, the long and the short of it is that as I walked through the door, my eye fell onto a painting, which I really liked because it didn't reflect the usual maybe Aboriginal way of painting. It's not a dot painting. And I felt I had seen this painting before. And I ended up buying two Aboriginal paintings, which I think are beautiful. And the artists, one of them is alive and one of them is dead. And from a value point of view, it didn't make a difference to me if they are valuable or if they are not or if they're gaining value because I believe art in collecting art for me I have to like it in order to collect it and not collect it for the sake of it will because it will improve in, in value so here I am 360 kilometers out of Tennant Creek. It's two o'clock. I spent quite a long time at this gallery. And I... It was nice to just let that time just sort of happen and you... You make a decision on the spot and you... You didn't plan it. It's something what happens in the moment and you go with this moment or you don't go with this moment and the moment is gone. And in this moment, some beautiful artworks, beautiful in my eyes, have presented themselves. And I grabbed the moment. 
it might become a wedding present or some sort of present for one for Toby and one for Orlando one day, who knows. We do things for unexplained reasons sometimes and there is a spiritual belief I do have that there is a divinity in in all the things we do do if guided by that open heart I keep referring to and these open roads have given me so many hours to be by myself with myself. I have never had this in my whole life. And it brings up many feelings. And to be with these feelings and not try to push them away has been quite exciting. Also painful, of course, because I have had very sad, feeling sad, not that I had sad experiences, but feeling sad about reflecting on, on my past life and the advertises, advertisement I, I have had in my life, as many of you probably have as well, and we just have different names for them because different experiences happen to all of us and and reflecting on those you think you have dealt with it only to find that you are flooded in tears just because of a thought of a song of a smell of an experience you see and and to how to deal with that and stay with that and embrace it and go through it that is the exciting part because I think we advertisement teaches us a great deal I think he teaches us that we are survivors when you come through it. So I think it's really important to not trying to avoid, of course we want to avoid being hurt, but not to be afraid that we are going to be hurt or that things have happened because they won't stay that way nothing is constant and it's all is fluid in how nature works and I look at this in the trees change and the grass burns and and things die off because it's freezing and and it grows again nothing stays the same and we know that but we want things to stay the same so and as they aren't staying the same it's the same with the things which happen to us in life the pain disappears, it gets less. We learn from it, we get stronger. And we have these wonderful opportunities to develop and out of that find new ways of doing things. Remember the song? My theme song? 
Pop Dylan knew that many, uh, Cat Stevens knew that many, many years ago when he was greatly in pain searching for his spiritual journey and enlightenment which he back then believed he had found in Islam and I'm sure he now as he has gotten older has noticed and realized that any radical views of anything is not a good thing. True spirituality, I do wonder, does that have a name? I would say I have a hunch that it doesn't. I've got a hunch true spirituality just is. It's within. And I see those glimpses sometimes, you know, sort of these glimpses, they open up and then they're gone again. And maybe when we really truly see it, and step through it. That's might be when we die. This is my landscape now. I show you and then I turn off. This landscape is um, hours and hours and hours of the same but it's not same because there is no one tree the same not one of the same bird the same so when we say we are driving through the same landscape I have said it and I'm just realizing this is not so. It's not so at all. It's different all the time. Okay, have a great day guys. Bye.